Hi, I'm Claire. I teach computer applications technology here in Johannesburg. You know how your teacher always tells you to practice past papers? Yeah, that doesn't really help if you don't know how to do half of the stuff. That's what this is for. You'll find a link to the files in the description below, along with the table of contents, so you can just click straight to the question you need help with. We all learn the best from our mistakes, so please, you have to try this by yourself before you watch this video. Let's get into it. Right, so for question one, I'm going to start by just disabling the navigation pane. I don't need it right now. And you'll see I've switched on my ruler and I do that under view. So first I need to set the left margin of the document to two centimeters. So I go to layout, margins, custom margins, left, two. Now I need to insert a cover page. So I go to insert cover page and they say I can choose any one. So I'm just choosing the first one. And it says I need to add a title to the cover page. So you'll see there's already a title content control. So I literally just select that and I start typing over it. I don't first delete or um, press backspace. Now I need to go to the table of contents text and apply a word art style to that. So I first selected it and then still on the insert tab, go to word art and pick anyone you like. Now I need to go to this table and there's a whole bunch of things I need to do here. So it's quite important when you work with um, lots of instructions that you actually don't just follow the example they give you, but actually follow the instructions underneath it if there are any. So let's do that. So it starts by saying we need to merge the first row of the table. So I select both of these cells and on the on demand table tools tab um, by layout, I go click merge cells. Next, I need to move the summary of facts into this cell. So I select it, click and drag, and it's inside that cell. Then I need to align this text to the right. So on the home tab, I select align right. Now I need to insert a degree symbol before S and E. So I go to insert, symbol, more symbols. And I always go to normal text if it isn't there already. And then if they did give you the code, then it should be quite easy to find it. It'll be one of the first ones. Um, so here are two candidates for that. So let's just have a look. It shows you the name here at the bottom. That's clearly not what we want. And if we click on that, ah, that's the degree sign, insert. Then I can just say close, copy that and paste it. Now I need to center this table horizontally. So I will select the entire table by clicking the four headed arrow there in the corner. And I can actually just do it on this quick access toolbar here and click on center. Otherwise I could have gone to home and center. Now I need to format the inner grid lines of the whole table. So I go to the design tab. I could have selected it again, but it's also already selected. Change it to one and a half points. And I change it to inside borders. Now I need to find this text visiting the falls in Zambia. And I need to change these bullets to a specific symbol, a custom bullet. So I click on the drop down arrow next to bullets and I click on define new bullet and I go to picture or symbol. They've given me windings and they've given me the code. So I can literally just go type in the code here at the bottom, 39, and it finds the symbol. Now I need to align this bullet to three centimeters from the left margin. So at the moment, as you can see on the um, ruler, it's just before one centimeter. So rather than fiddling with these icons or these um, position holders just go and open paragraph and change the left indentation to three centimeters there you go now the bullet starts at three centimeters you can change the position of the text by changing the hanging position here now we need to add automatic page numbering and it's quite complicated so um, we need to put the page numbers in the footers and it needs to start at page number one, needs to have different odd and even page numbers, 
or um, alignment and it can only start on this page now if we actually have a look this is currently page three so if that was only a different first page that we needed then a section break wouldn't have been necessary but because we actually don't want any page numbers on this page we will have to use a section break so I'm going to switch on my show hide for this and I'm going to remove the page break and insert a next page section break so on the layout tab breaks next page now I have the ability to change these sections so that they have different page numbers so I go into the footer edit footer and the very first thing I do is when I go to the next section you see I'm at section one now so I click on next here I'm on section two first thing I do is I'm going to unlink these two because I want different things for them so link to previous I've broken now because I've already inserted a cover page in the first section um, it's by default thought that I want a different first page for this section as well which I don't so I'm going to take off different first page and then I'm going to insert page numbers um, but I need to have them on different sides for odd and even pages so let's switch on different odd and even pages and you'll see it actually shows you clearly even page footer so the even page footers need to be right aligned so I go to page number bottom of the page because it should be in the footer and I choose one that is right aligned then I click on next so that I can go to the odd page footer and I go and insert one on the left hand side now the last instruction is that these page numbers should start at one not at zero it's starting at zero because there was a cover page inserted in the first place so while I'm in the footer with a page number that's already been inserted I go to page numbers format page numbers and I actually say start at one and now you'll see it's actually changed this one with the Victoria Falls to an odd page with a number one and there it goes to two three and so on next I need to insert a um, bookmark or a hyperlink to a bookmark so I need to find the text tracking precautions under two Mount Kilimanjaro so easiest is actually at this point to switch on navigation pane then I can actually switch off my show hide symbols I actually like working with them on but you I know most people prefer them off so they say it's under two Mount Kilimanjaro so I click on two Mount Kilimanjaro and there's the text you'll see they're always highlighted for you to find it nice and easily I need to add a hyperlink to this right click hyperlink and it's a bookmark so it's a place in this document to the precautions bookmark now I need to work on this Mount Kilimanjaro paragraph select it and we need to apply widow and orphan control so for this I'll just be careful and actually select the whole paragraph including the paragraph mark here at the back so that it's applied to the paragraph right click paragraph line and page breaks and widow and orphan control click okay next I need to remove a bookmark called summit so for that I go to insert bookmark and here I can see both bookmarks that are present so I can go to it doesn't really matter where it is um, or go to the other one doesn't really matter where I'm standing but I click on the one I want deleted and I just press delete now I need to find heading 5 Mount Kenya um, and it's not currently displayed in the table of contents so if we look at the table of contents it has one two three four and then six so let's see why so if we look at number four and we look at the styles and um, remember a table of contents work with styles so we go to home and you'll see here it's a format heading style and if we scroll down there's heading number five and it's not set to that same style so I'm going to go click on format heading and you'll see now it's actually in the navigation pane so now we can go to the top and we can right click update field update entire table okay and there it's added that heading going to heading 9 and we need to insert an object 
in here by an Excel spreadsheet. So we go to, it's not copying and pasting, we go to insert object and it's from a file that already exists, browse, it's this one, and they want it displayed as an icon, they didn't say anything about linking it. So we say okay. If you're in any doubt, or it's a teacher marking maybe, if you press Alt F9, you can actually see the field codes. So there it shows you it's embedded in Excel spreadsheet. If you just press Alt F9 again, it shows you the regular icon again. That's how you check if it's done correctly, especially if it's the content of the files, not an icon. Next, we need to insert a um, caption. So we click on the correct heading we need. Right click on the image and say insert caption. Now the position needs to be above the image. So we say select above selected item and we just type in the rest that we need. So you'll see it actually numbers these captions automatically depending on the number of images there are in the document. Now we need to insert a table of figures. So we'll just go stand underneath it. It's on the references tab, insert table of figures. And they didn't say we need to change anything, so then we just say OK. Lastly, we need to insert a text watermark. So we go to Design, Watermark. And it's never going to be one of these default ones, so you'll always go to Custom Watermark. And it's a text one. Let's insert the custom text. And we can apply.